and Jen Carnup, both from the Robert Frost Charter School here in North Conway. Good morning to you both. Good Hi, morning. Thanks, thanks for well, having us. Oh, I'm so excited. You guys have planned yet another event to thrill the families and really get them excited about science. So, Sarah, do you want to start off with, let's talk about the event, and then maybe, Jen, we can talk about Robert Frost? Sure. Okay, so, Great. Sarah, take it away. So, this Tuesday, tomorrow, tomorrow. at 2 p.m., at Theater in the Wood in Intervale, New Hampshire, we'll be hosting Up, Up, and Away, which is an interactive science program for kids of all ages and their parents. The mad scientist is gonna teach us about that elusive state of matter gas, Volunteers are getting get to attempt to pull apart a Madigberg sphere. I don't even uh, know what that is. I <laughs> don't either, and I had to practice saying it, and I still you butchered it, it. But that's no, okay. You did it. <laughs> um, um, also, get to uh, ride a hub, um, get a uh, uh, sorry attempt okay. to launch a hot air balloon. Oh really? Oh, and okay. um, use Papa Vortex to put out a candelabrum. But the pinnacle of the event is that one lucky volunteer will get to ride on the mad science hovercraft at the end of the event. Really? It oh, sounds that is so, so cool. awesome. I hope I get it. No, yeah. I just kidding. <laughs> I imagine it'll be a little one. But uh, this is another, uh, we've had a mad science event before, and this is yeah. the second in the series. A uh, different company, but in different location, because it's going to be at the Theater in the Woods this time. So if folks went to the last one, different location. So we'll definitely tell you how to get there. I'm so excited because science is so cool and I think that's part of what has made Rob Frost uh, Charter School so great for the kids is they've really you know gotten that science back in the curriculum and made it exciting for kids and they want to do experiments they want to learn and this is just another facet of getting that exactly, done. Exactly, yes. So folks families can come Absolutely. and what is the cost? The cost is ten dollars per person. Okay. The tickets will be available at the door. The event will start at two o'clock in the afternoon. The doors will open at one. So get there early get if you want a good early. seat. Indeed, yes, right, because kids want to be able to get close because that's the volunteers are from the audience. <laughs> Absolutely, uh, yeah. you want to be close. So it's, again, doors open at 1 p.m. And how you find Theater in the Woods is right across from the White Mountain Family Golf and also uh, Town Hall Road. So if you're driving north on 16, it's going to be on your left, and it's before you take the big curve down into Glen, so quite a bit before that. So keep an eye out for the Family Golf, and it's going to be right across there on the left. So doors open at one program starts at two don't be late because That's it right. is interactive and we want to get all the kids yeah. in there on time and settle down so we can hear um, let's talk about the silent auction yeah so we've got we also have a silent auction going on we have some amazing stuff um, we've got local ski passes from several different mountains we've got gift certificates from several different local restaurants handmade um, Hand, handmade jewelry. Right. I think you guys hit the real big ones that people always yeah. yearn for. Yeah. You know, the lift tickets, the restaurant gift certificates, and homemade jewelry. I mean, yes. that's and it's handmade. Beautiful. Yeah, it's beautiful. I, I bet. Yes. It's going to be on display there. It will be all. It will all be there on display. Yep. We're also having a bake sale. So. <laughs> That's it. That's just the piece <laughs> to resist on us right That's there. That's right. Okay. Yeah. So, Jen, let's move on to the school. Robert Frost Charter School is relatively new to the area. And let's get some information out there because, full disclosure, my two kids go there and we couldn't be happier. I mean, our kids really have blossomed. My littlest one's seven uh, years old. This year was the first year he's really embraced reading, which he's always kind of fought for a while. He And we still read to him and stuff. Now I look over and he's over on his bed. He's cracked open Harry Potter. And he's not reading the whole thing yet, but he's getting sentences and really enjoying the whole process. So how is Robert Frost, what was the purpose behind opening up a new school here? Yeah, the school is in its second year uh, being open to students and uh, we started K-4 uh, and this um, first through fourth grade. This year we introduced kindergarten and fifth grade and next year we're adding a sixth grade as well. And it will continue on until we get to eighth grade uh, so that those oldest students have a, you know, have a, a grade to go right. to until um, until eighth grade, and them. yeah, the purpose is really just to uh, to provide uh, an educational option here in the valley. Um, we have some wonderful uh, traditional public schools, um, but the traditional approach doesn't work for everybody. And so we really just felt that um, wanted to embrace the whole concept of the New Hampshire Charter School Program, uh, which is to try and explore innovations in education. A lot of the uh, innovations in charter schools were happening in the southern part of the state, mm -hmm. and we felt strongly that up here in the North Country 
country, uh, we can also innovate and uh, be creative about how we approach education. And so that was the purpose of opening the Robert Frost Charter School here. And it has been a wonderful success, I have to say. You know, we've, uh, we've really been focusing on meeting children where they are and moving them forward at their own pace. That's one of my favorite things, because it really is that you, you I want to say analyze, but it's not analyze because that sounds so harsh. But you watch the child, you get where they are, and then you move them ahead where they need to be, not where the class has to be. It's just each individual child really has an individualized plan. Exactly. And they're taking responsibility for their own learning. They help set their weekly goals mm -hmm. where the teacher will come in and help guide. But I like that they're involved in that process and not, not just handheld through each area. Right, exactly. Our teachers are amazing. They're either New Hampshire certified or Montessori credentialed. We use a blend of Montessori and project-based learning to help uh, guide students' interests and promote excitement about learning. And that is something that I think we're very successful at, is getting kids excited about the learning process and getting them really wanting to propel themselves forward right. um, and learn new things. Yeah. And so the science piece is a great um, great extension of what we're doing in the classroom, uh, a lot of hands-on. That's um, right, because we just had the whole science fair. Yes, we did. Yeah, we got in and all the kids, you know, they had the boards and science experiments that they came up with. They had to do their editing of the script. They had to present publicly, which I think the school is also a big boost to kids doing public presentations because they have to speak to adults and have mm -hmm. a, a conversation explain what it is, which really just brings the understanding to a deeper level, Absolutely. in my opinion. Yeah. And the science, you know, this up, up, and away is going to be so much fun. And it's just another aspect of getting kids involved and saying, you know, learning is fun. And you might not even know that you're learning, but you are. Not only, you know, the sort of book learning, but they're also learning social skills and all the rest of it that go in with a different kind of classroom. Because they walk in, what do they see as far as the classroom setup? The classroom is very open. There are a lot of hands-on materials on the shelves. So the kids come in, they decide on their work plan, what they want to uh, work on for that day. They choose the materials they want to work. They can choose to work on the floor or at tables. They can be up and moving, talking with their peers, working collaboratively. And you're right, we do view that social and emotional piece as just as important as the academic piece. So we're lo really looking to build those 21st century skills right. so that kids can really be prepared prepared for the world beyond our yes, school walls. in a normal workplace, you're going to be working with all different kinds of folks and bringing these groups together of kids that they work to work together to accomplish a goal is so important. What a skill to learn early. Absolutely. And, uh, you know, you've also brought in a lot of great guest speakers and such. Where can they find more information? Because enrollment is ongoing. Yes, enrollment is open until uh, the end of the month, February 28th. And at that point, we will look and see how many applicants we have for spaces that we have available. We are a public charter school, so there is absolutely no tuition. Anybody in the state of New Hampshire is eligible to, uh, to come to our school. Um, so all you have to do is go to our website, robertfrostcharterschool.org, and go um, to admissions. You'll see an enrollment application there okay, that you okay. can download. Fill that out. Mail that in. The postmark is important, so it is important that you mail everything in. Um, and then at that point, we will look and see how many applicants we have for the spaces available. And if we have more applicants than space, then we will have a public lottery, and that will happen in March. Okay, and it is open to all residents of New Hampshire? All residents of New Hampshire, completely tuition free. And so that would be from kindergarten and through sixth grade for Fantastic. next year. Fantastic. Well, folks, take advantage of this opportunity to get into a great school, Robert Frost Charter School. Again, it's Robert Frost. CharterSchool.org. Charter. Okay, great. Thanks, Jen. And Sarah, the stats on the event for tomorrow. Okay, so it's Tuesday, February 18th. Doors open at 1 o'clock. The program begins at 2. It's about a 45 to 50 minute program. Um, tickets are $10 a piece available at the door in, at the Theater in the Wood in Intervale, New Hampshire. Okay, bake sale, silent auction and it's a great way to get your kids excited about learning. Well, ladies, thank you so much. Always a pleasure to have you here on the show, and we'll see you at the event tomorrow. Absolutely. <laughs> All right. Look forward to seeing you. Thanks a lot. All right, folks, stay tuned. We have to wrap the show in just a few moments. We might be able to squeeze one more watch and win, so stay tuned. Welcome to Hillbilly Southern Barbecue, a family-owned and operated restaurant.